The rain poured relentlessly as I chased the suspect through the winding alleys of the city. Each step echoed like a drumbeat in the desolate streets. I was Detective Mark Roberts, and I had been on the trail of the notorious serial killer known as the Shadow for months. Tonight, we finally had a break in the case. A witness had spotted the suspect fleeing the scene of his latest murder. With adrenaline coursing through my veins, I pursued him relentlessly, determined to bring an end to his reign of terror. As I rounded a corner, I caught sight of him a dark figure darting into an abandoned warehouse at the edge of town. Without hesitation, I followed my footsteps. Echoing in the empty space, the interior was shrouded in darkness, broken only by the occasional flicker of a malfunctioning light bulb. I moved cautiously, my senses on high alert, but as I ventured deeper into the warehouse, a sense of unease crept over me. Suddenly, I heard a noise, a soft whisper, barely audible over the pounding. Rain outside, I froze, my heart pounding in my chest. Who's there? I called out, my voice echoing off the walls. There was no response, only the sound of my own breathing. But then, from the darkness ahead, I heard it again, a low, guttural chuckle that sent shivers down my spine. With trembling hands, I drew my weapon, my senses on high alert. Come out with your hands up. I demanded, my voice betraying the fear that gnawed at my insides. And then, he emerged from the shadows, a tall, shadowy figure with eyes that seemed to glow with an otherworldly light. It was the shadow, the killer I had been hunting for so long. But as I trained my weapon on him, something strange happened. The figure didn't flee or fight back. Instead, he simply stood there, his eyes locked with mine in an unspoken challenge. I hesitated, unsure of what to do. But before I could react, the shadow spoke, his voice a chilling whisper in the darkness. You cannot stop me, detective. I am beyond your reach. I shook my head, trying to push aside the creeping sense of dread that threatened to consume me. You're under arrest for the murder of countless innocent victims, I declared, my voice wavering slightly. But the shadow only laughed a cold, mirthless sound that echoed through the empty warehouse. You think you can contain the darkness, detective? You are but a pawn in a game much larger than yourself. And then, with a flicker of movement, he was gone disappearing into the darkness as though he had never been there at all. I stood there, alone in the empty warehouse, my mind racing with questions and doubts, had I imagined the encounter? Or was the shadow something more than human, a force of darkness that defied explanation? As I stood there, grappling with the uncertainty of it all, I couldn't shake the feeling that I had just witnessed something beyond comprehension, and as the rain continued to pour outside, I knew that my pursuit of the shadow was far from over. As I stood alone in the desolate warehouse, the echoes of the shadow's laughter still ringing in my ears, I couldn't shake the feeling of a knees that settled over me like a suffocating shroud. Every instinct screamed at me to flee, to abandon this hopeless chase and leave the darkness behind. But I knew I couldn't, not when innocent. Lives hung in the balance with a heavy heart. I holstered my weapon and began to search the warehouse, my senses on high alert. Every creak of the floorboards, every rustle of the wind seemed to echo through the empty space, heightening my sense of dread with each passing moment. But despite my best efforts, the shadow remained elusive. A ghostly presence that seemed to slip through my fingers at every turn. Hours passed in fruitless pursuit, the darkness of the warehouse swallowing me whole as I searched in vain for any sign of my elusive quarry. Finally, as the first light of dawn began to filter through the broken windows, I knew I had to admit defeat, the shadow. Had eluded me once again, slipping back into the shadows from whence he came. But even as I prepared to leave the warehouse behind, a nagging sense of doubt lingered in the back of my mind. Was the shadow truly a man, or was he something more? A creature of darkness, born from the depths of human despair? The questions gnawed at me, taunting me with their uncertainty. As I stepped out into the rain-soaked streets, I knew that I couldn't give up the chase. Not when there were still lives at stake, still innocence in danger of falling victim to the shadow's malevolent whims. And so, with a heavy heart and a steely resolve, I vowed to... Continue the hunt, no matter the cost. 
Days turned into weeks, and weeks turned into months, but still the shadow remained elusive, his presence a dark specter haunting the edges of my consciousness. With each passing day, the weight of the case grew heavier, the burden of responsibility pressing down on me like a leaden weight, but... Still, I persisted, driven by a determination that bordered on obsession. I combed through every piece of evidence, every shred of information, desperate for any clue that might lead me closer to the shadow's lair. And then, finally, a breakthrough. A witness came forward, claiming to have seen the shadow lurking near the city's abandoned subway tunnels, a labyrinthine maze of darkness and decay, where even the bravest souls feared to tread. With a renewed sense of purpose, I assembled a team and set out into the depths of the tunnels, determined to bring an end to the shadow's reign of terror once and for all. But as we delved deeper into the darkness, I couldn't shake the feeling that we were walking into a trap that the shadow was toying with us, luring us into his web with promises of glory and redemption. The tunnels stretched out before us like a yawning abyss there. Walls slick with moisture and grime. Each step echoed through the darkness, a haunting reminder of the perils that lay ahead. But still we pressed on, our resolve in yielding in the face of adversity. We moved cautiously, our weapons drawn and our senses on high alert, but still the shadow remained one step ahead, his presence illuming. Shadow that seemed to envelop us from all sides, and then, just when we thought we had him cornered, disaster struck. A sudden collapse sent the tunnel crumbling around us, trapping us beneath tons of rubble with no means of escape. Panic surged through me as I struggled to free myself, the weight of the debris pressing down on me. Like a vice, but even as I fought to break free, I knew that our situation was hopeless. The darkness closed in around us, suffocating and oppressive, as the shadow's laughter echoed through the tunnels like a cruel taunt. In the end, we were nothing but pawns in his twisted game a game that he had already won, and as the darkness consumed us, I knew that the shadow's reign of terror would continue unabated, a chilling reminder of the darkness that lurks within us all. Emerging from the collapsed tunnel, bruised but alive, I surveyed the cityscape before me. The dawn's light cast a hopeful glow upon the skyline, a stark contrast to the darkness that had threatened to consume us. Despite the shadow's escape, our relentless pursuit had not been in vain. As I looked around at my team, battered yet unbroken, I felt a sense of pride swell within me. We had faced the abyss and emerged victorious. And though the shadow may lurk in the shadows, I knew that we would be ready to face him again, armed with the light of justice and the unwavering resolve to protect those who dwell in the darkness. With the shadow eluding us, justice still prevailed. We emerged from darkness, stronger, ready to face whatever shadows may come.